Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss Talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not, not even no, my dad walk on. Man, hey, man. Check it, man. Hey, man. We got a guy here, y'all. He don't need no introduction. Man, this guy right here. Hey, listen, man. Say, man, you niggas bit this nigga style back in the day, really. To be honest yeah, with you, a lot of you niggas wouldn't have never been famous if it wasn't for this nigga <laughs> right here, man. This nigga help you niggas dance your way to success, nigga. Yeah, My boy, Lil Spain is in the building. Yeah, yeah, Lil Spain, aka Big Spain. You know what yeah, I'm man. We elevated the Boogie King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because you ain't, you ain't live no more. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the biggest now, man. Yeah, you gotta Already. change that name. Oh, it's Big Spain now. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's Big Spain now. You know, ain't nothing changed, but you know, I just elevating the brain, size, you know what I'm saying, pockets, you know, it's gonna get a whole lot better now. Man, okay. Dallas, Texas, man, putting Dallas, Texas on the map, man, that's what a lot of cats, they forget about the foundation of what made the city what it is in certain times, and I talk about those times often on this show, man, where you look at how everybody came during their era, you know, even DeRoe when I talked to him on here, or even Chief when I talked to him, or even Gator Man as I talked to him, or Fat Pimp, or going up to these new boys, you know what I'm saying, my boy Strap to just uh, you know, just uh, got killed the other day, R. man. R.I.P., man. Like, learning the culture, learning the things that's happening and transpiring in Dallas, man. Uh, got a new cat, Bumpy Johnson. There's all mm -hmm. type of people that's getting into this music, man. But one thing we can't do is forget about the foundation and how it was laid. I think that's very important. I think a lot of times, because of not having the right situations and platforms before, it kind of got lost in the sauce a little bit in yeah. certain ways. So we have to continue to redevelop yes, you know what i'm saying yeah. the conditioning of our people through what happened in the dallas in the dallas area yeah. go ahead so i want to know because i don't usually just follow an artist because of their music i need to know because one thing i hate you know how like when you hear somebody's music and you love them you love their music but when you meet them in person you're like i can't stand you yeah I've done that you know lot. so I want to know who you are. I want to know where you're from. I want to know everything about you. I want my fans to fall in love with you as a person. Okay. Yeah, man, you know, I, everybody called me Spain back in the day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I elevated to Lil Spain when I started dealing with the rap music. You know, me and Lil Will, we both come from North Dallas. North Dallas, be exact. I'm straight from Forest Lane. And, you know, people always been knowing me through the chicken because my family is the kings of the chicken of Dallas. When you say kings of chicken, what you mean? I'll be the legend, though. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Starting, with, starting with my great uncle, Henderson Chicken. That's what started it all. Okay. Then Spain's Chicken, that was my daddy. Rudy's Chicken, that's my granddaddy. Okay. Now, Spain's elevated to Big Mama's. You know, that's my granny, too. So, everybody always knew me from that. And they just knew me for being in the streets, messing around in the neighborhood. See, the only thing I know is Rudy's Chicken. I don't know about the other ones. Oh, I know about all of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, all of them. Man. Yeah, so I, the, all, all of them. the other ones still still exist right yeah, now? Yeah, Big Mama's still over there on Forest Lane, I did. Okay. Rudy's in Oak Cliff. Henderson, you got Henderson's everywhere. Oh, yeah, everywhere. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard of Henderson. Well, yeah. that's all That's all I found. I didn't know, you know they all related. Oh, yeah, yeah, we all related, you know what I'm saying? We all Same related. recipes? No, no, not same. No, nah, they're all different. <laughs> Rudy, Rudy still keep Which the, uh, the best? seasoning. Huh? Which one's the best Rudy's to you? Rudy's chicken the best right Why? now. Why? Yeah, Rudy's the best. Huh? Why? Because that's pop up, man, you know, and I'm there every, I'm there every day grinding, so I got to say that's the best, you know what I'm saying? Man, when I come through there, man, I be cutting up so damn bad, boy, I come through the drive-through hollering yeah, at everybody. Yeah, I had to stop him What's from up, going nigga? What's up? Yeah. I'm in there, yeah, they I'm know having him. a good time through that drive-through, One bro. day you came, man, I was there. I seen you, you left a card. <laughs> well, I was so busy working, though. I was like, man, that's the dude for Boss Talk. I know that shit. He man. always talking. He talking to that guy love, Yeah, if you had that one, the nigga, I'm yeah. gonna break everything yeah. just like the show, nigga. Yeah, What's up? Yeah, I'll be cooking and making a basket. So you know me now. You just yeah. come through and holler at some ass from Spain. I got you. Man, I we had a real. lady come on here, CC. I don't know if you know CC React. Yeah. She's from she's Chicago. And she say, um, Harold's Chicken in Chicago is better than Rudy's. I put up against Rudy's, nigga. We, we won, up, nigga. Shout we out we to the winners, there. nigga. Yeah, so we went down there to Chicago because we never had Harold's. Yeah. So we went down there. We was like, okay, let's give it a fair shot. Let's try it out. 
And mm-mm. Yeah, ain't nothing, ain't nothing, nothing beating that season of no, that Rudy no, sauce. No, no, you know who it. you know who is close to though? Um we like um down there in is it Alabama or Mississippi? Oh yeah. Green Cross and down Green in Alabama. Acres. Green, Green Acres. Green Acres. I, I gotta you gotta try. check them out. They, when, you go, I, when you go to ATL, if you ever drive down there, stop through uh, uh, uh Birmingham, Alabama. Yeah. They, uh, they won it's the Hoodie right. Awards yeah. with uh Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey. Too. Oh, they right, good. Exactly. Oh yeah, they but yeah. see these niggas different. See, yeah. you go to the window and I'm just gonna give them a little shout out. And they say, do you want it? All the way. All the way. And they throw hot sauce and everything hot on that sauce, thing. Ketchup, ketchup, everything. everything, everything. Bread, I said, salt, damn. Pepper, yeah, I got to go test that out. I got to yeah. test that out. Because yeah. <laughs> if we can bring ours cold, I can travel from Dallas down there. And I, I think I should have still. I'm not. It's still good cold. <laughs> what? Hell yeah, yeah, man. Didn't, didn't we tell? Like, we to, I told her that, didn't I? Yeah. That, that thing, hey, no, man. I got to eat it hot. I can't eat it cold. Yeah, man. But that, I, you know, you leave the refrigerator. I come back the next day. I'm going to get that, yeah. that chicken. It's going down, man. I yeah. show, you know, I'm getting hungry now you oh, now you can't have no fried food. Oh, see how she do me, man. Yeah, I'm on man. a diet and everything around this whole. I just try to give her a cheat day every now and then. I try. I'm, I'm coming through there. Don't even trip. Don't just don't say nothing about it. Okay, I got <laughs> you. Yeah, so, but, were you raised with your mom and your dad? Yeah. See, yeah. My, the the, the chicken bit is my daddy's side of the family. Right. So my mama was from the north. That was how I grew up with my mama. So I used to go see my daddy every weekend. Oh, so summers. they weren't in the same house together? No, nah, no, nah, they like... broke up when we were little. Oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? I mean, when I was little, I said we. But, you know, but I was still, but there I was, was in the streets with my life. mama. When right. I was in the north, I was like in the streets with my mama. Then I go, you now I've seen both sides. Right. I've seen the middle class, the, the rich side, the lower class. And that's how it used to be. I got stuck in the streets when I was younger, but then realized like, damn, if I'd have just paid attention and slowed down and been patient, I'd have been the king right. of this chicken shit right now. Well, you know, that was just our lessons so learned. Hold on. You said in the streets with your mama. So exactly explain when you say in the streets what with I'm your saying, mama. What I'm saying, when I live with my mama, I should be in the streets tripping. Thugging, oh, okay, okay. Doing okay. stuff I ain't supposed to do when I got this empire right here. Yeah, okay. But I was trying to move so fast. Let me get money now. Let me get money now. Let me try to hustle. I'm trying to look at other things, trying to shine and stuff. When I when I sat down, when I went down for a minute, I realized when you sit down and think about it, like, damn, I really had the opportunity to really be one of the richest young niggas in Dallas at the time. But I was tripping. You know what I'm saying? But that was a lesson learned. You have you know to go saying? through. Yeah, 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 there's a, everybody has to go through what they have to go through to learn to appreciate what you have. Because if yeah. you if you jumped up and you said, okay, yeah, you know, you, you did right, you may not have, you know, appreciated it. You understand? Because mm-hmm. so a lot of people have money and have what they have, but don't appreciate what they have. But for the main fact, you had to go sit down, do what you had to do, and come back. You can still be the king. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't, yeah, ain't nothing going to change, man. It's just going to do it a whole lot better now, and that's how it's going to be, man. You know, I sat down, read, read a lot, did a lot of studying, went to a lot of schools. I know how to do it now, man. I ain't going to let nothing take me off my pedestal no more. You know what I'm saying? So I'm steady grinding, you know. I ain't going to never stop grinding, never stop shining. I know what the outcome of grinding and working hard gonna do. You know what I'm saying? I seen it with my granddaddy. So you know if you see a young kid right now who um, knucklehead going through all of that, but they don't have an empire waiting on them, how could you advise them to, you know, stay on the straight and narrow? I'm just telling man, let's be patient. You know what I'm saying? Take your time. Right now you young. You can have a little fun, but don't trip out to where you're gonna be gone forever or dead in the, in the dirt. Because out here it's crazy. So all you gotta do is just take your time, learn a skill, learn a trade, find something else that uh change you from doing negativity, you know what I'm saying? Because if you can sell dope, you can sell hope, you can sell rocks, you can sell socks, you can be on the corner selling anything that's legal, cause legal money is gonna last forever. That's what, you know what I saying? always believe too, but when you talk to these young kids, cause I've talked to a lot of young kids because it hurt my heart when I see these young, I call them young entrepreneurs because yeah. that's what you are when you're on the streets. You're an entrepreneur yeah. who can, I don't want to work for somebody, but you don't have to work for somebody. You can start your own business, but a legal business. But at the same time, they think that that street money is a faster way of making that's money to supply is. to their family because so many people depending on them to pay the bills, do this, do that. But you telling a kid to, you know, walk the straight and narrow, go get a nine to five, do this, do that. But then they're not making as much money doing that as how they doing on the streets. So, and what they do, they also look at you like, okay, what you got? Yeah. You can't tell me nothing. If you ain't got this, 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 how can you advise me? Yeah, you know what I mean? So how can you really advise them? Because I don't like to see them out there doing that. I want to see, because there are better ways of you know making money. You just have to be patient, like what you say. But mm-hmm. how can you really get them to listen? You and not have to go through that. You got to show them. You know what I'm saying? 
Walk that walk, talk that talk. You got to show them. You know what a lot saying? of times they're not for the listening, y'all. Nah, just reason they're not gonna listen, y'all, cause let's be real for a minute. When I was popping, I don't care what y'all say, nigga. I'm out here getting this money. Y'all niggas trying to <laughs> tell me I'm riding around these nice cars. I go to the store. I shop every day. You niggas talking outside of y'all neck, I, and everybody love me because mm-hmm. I'm famous in my own circle. So when I come around, it's just too much. It's it's just too much stuff held that that they got. Going inside those inner circles to when a person of age come looking weak, yeah, looking old, yeah, trying to tell me and you old, you already done what I done, so I really am looking at you crazy as hell. Yeah. So it sounds good, but really the best thing I've seen is to show a person how to live in front of them. Shut up and just show. Yeah, instead of just you don't want to just stay all that force talking it. and yeah, you trying. Don't no, force it shut on. up and show. Yeah, just walk it. They want to see. Yeah, okay. So whenever you were on the streets, and this goes to both of y'all, um, you never thought about the consequences at all. Yeah. I did. I said I'm going to be dead by 25 or either I'm going to be uh, locked up. One of the two, 24. And you just didn't care. Didn't really yeah, give a I damn. Wasn't real. I ain't give a damn. I was just living. I was like. That's the way you then, think. Then most of the time I'm full of drugs, tripping, like <laughs> just living life day for day. Like, fuck, if I blow it this day, I'm going to make it tomorrow. And, and when he because you had friends who passed away because of it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. While Look you were there, but that didn't still that still didn't. Yeah, because I was I was deaf, dumb, and blind at the time. I wasn't I wasn't caring. I'm just living, doing me. And you I, know what people like her was doing? Her and her mom and him yeah. talking about you. You see that boy selling that dope, <laughs> <laughs> that boy on that drugs. Yeah, just That's what they they not really trying to help you as much as they talking about you. I ain't talking about them. Yeah, but if you see a per not you know mama and all them older yeah, people, I'm just being real. That's the what they do. Yeah, they do. Oh, they gonna say them niggas selling dope. Look at them new car. Look at them boy shoes. That's what they do. They ask for some money and then buy some. Oh money yeah, that's coming. Yeah, well, <laughs> <You're talking about laughs> no, but I, I think that really, you know, like the best thing we can do. I mean, you know, people don't really like to give it credit for what it really done, but hip hop changed everything for our people a lot of times. And when it came to entrepreneurship, it was a lot of times this hip hop era is what put money in our a younger generation's pocket, created billionaires now up yeah. until this point, and we just a lot of times look at it, looked at it in a way to where. I seen those older people even shooting that down when it first started mm-hmm. out. So now all of a sudden they want to act like they cool with it because they done got a little older. But when I first was coming up, they was not cool with it. And they was talking about it because people were cursing on music more. They were doing all these different things that they were not used to. So d- d- now that it's okay, and long as and you know what, long as when the pop culture embraced it, when the when the and that's sad. Our people think like this, mm-hmm. but when the when, when people that don't look like us embraced it, then our people start to embrace it more. I don't agree with that. You know what, you know what I yeah, feel? Yeah, I figured you wouldn't. I know. <laughs> I, no, I feel just like anything, um, playing a song like, okay, you made a song and you played it on the radio. The first time we hear it is like, oh, that's trash. I don't like it. But they played so much that after the end of the week or the two you weeks, like it. you're like, man, that's jamming. That's jamming. And at first you didn't like it. So it's just the same thing with rap, with hip hop, with music. You hear it so much. Like, how do you not just eventually just go with the flow? Look how many things we see on TV that um, we don't agree with at first. They ease it into the TV and we're like, oh, yeah. the kids shouldn't be watching this. No, 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 mm-hmm. no. But now, 20, 30 years later on, it become a way of life. You see it everywhere around you. Yeah, it tripped yeah. me out when I got out. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, see Dolores Tucker uh, didn't like Tupac until he died. Yeah. Still don't like him, probably didn't like him when she died. And that's another so thing. So it's certain people not gonna accept it. Yeah, just like, and with hip hop and rap, we have the power to change a lot of this stuff that go on. Like back in the 80s, they were speaking righteousness and everybody was on their righteous till. Exactly. Then, then people came in to try to get that out the way. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about hustling and hoes and bitches. You know what I'm saying? That like right now, everybody claim they demons that don't care about dying. That's why a lot of these youngsters out here tripping. And dying? When I was growing up, they were rapping about hustling and making money. Now they mm-hmm. talking about putting it in your nose and popping it all. Right. Now that's why these kids walk around like and that. And killing. Because one thing about the black culture, everybody copies what we do. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Worldwide. Yeah. And they'll say we could change it by what we speak about, what we rap about, what we put out on movies. That's one thing I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to change this culture of let's have fun again. That's why I'm the boogie king. Because when I step through, I want it to be a pole party. 
I'm saying that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start with my city and we're going to take it worldwide. And that's what I'm trying to do right now, man. We got to change this culture, change this perspective of how we think it now and just change the things we do. There's few people who've been over here that say that they want to change it because, but then you have those few who say that, but because of um, popularity. Yeah. And for them to get big, they got to go with the flow of things first. They got to sing, you know, rap what everybody is rapping so that they can get popular. Then they go ease into the positivity and everything else because they done already done blew up and big, so they can't do that. Yeah. But you have those people who don't care because they're tired of all of the drill music and the this and that, all the killings and all of that. So they want to inject and change into society, but with change, it takes time. It takes you becoming a martyr. You takes people be like, "What are you doing? Like, mm -hmm. are you crazy?" Till twenty years come later on, people say, "Well, you are ahead of your time." Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, because that's what people do. Yeah. Because you wanted to change, but why don't you team up with those other people yes. who want to do change? Because you by yourself, sometimes it might be harder. But if you team, find out who want to do positivity music, team up with them. And try to touch more people. Yeah, that's what I've been doing since I've been out. You know what I'm saying? I be in Cliff. I'm messing with Nino and them. East Dallas, South Dallas, West Dallas. I be in every hood chopping up. I'm in the streets. I'm saying I'm in your face. And we talking about this. All these OGs out of Dallas, all these old Dallas rappers. You know what I'm saying? We all trying to come together and make this happen. You know what I'm saying? It's not talk. We gon' It's coming. You know what I'm saying? We just got to sit there and push and don't let nobody get in our way. and keep. We got to get these weenies out the way that's got this platform that's out here saying fuck Dallas and all this crazy stuff and move them out the way and let the real get here and show them how we can get together and be become unified. How long will it take? How long will it take? It, it could take tomorrow. Yep. It could take a few hours. It could take a couple weeks. You know what I'm saying? We could just got to push strong and get I, out there. I think I think you're right about, uh, I don't think they move out the way, though. The, they, these Anybody that you don't like, uh, it's always going to be the yin and the yang. Like, you just create something that, that like, like, when I created this, it was more like, Okay, I'm gonna give my people some good to look at when they see us, and and I know that other stuff is out there. Yeah. But boy, I'm gonna hit these niggas in their nose with this one though, and I think that's what we, when you inject your truth in it, like like you say you had a podcast or say you had a, a, a something a blog site or whatever, and you just got out work the niggas just doing the crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to do it in your own way. It's going to be dope any way you look at it. And you should do that. I'm, I'm really being real. Like, if you hadn't done something like that, you and your team, y'all should have a, a something out here. You know, most people, I give it to you. Like, they waiting on the music. It, 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 the music just a part of it. This is a brand thing. So when you look at all the stuff that you can do now, when I sit down with the Mike Bless, I say this every interview now, y'all. Uh, when I sit down with these guys who making 300 on a bad month, 300,000 on a bad month, 480,000 on a good month, and they using just this cell phone, the 13, and you got a 13, and you basically just sitting around now trying to wait on some artist to pop. I think that's ludicrous. Mm -hmm. You should be telling your story, putting it out, because it's content over create. Yeah. Content is more important than anything right now. Not even, just, just the fact that y'all being here, what he's doing, what, what you know, what, what the crew sitting back, all of this should be recorded. Yeah. But you should be doing it on this. And the reason why you should be doing it on this because it's easier to upload and yeah. get your content up. And every single day that you live, by the time you already got a name, yeah, for real. nigga, I'd have been an already one against Soldier Boy and everybody else that that, that ever did me wrong, nigga. <laughs> you ain't gonna know I'm out now, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm out. Yeah, and, and nigga, you niggas feel, feel my pain. Yeah, they, but yeah. this should already be happening. This should have happened the first day out. You should have been like, I like that nigga finesse two time when he got out. They went with the with the little plane and got him and all of this. And Jay Prince now held him down. And you seen that movement? That's where we at. Somebody mm -hmm. over there gets it. Yeah. We need to get better at that. Yeah, for we real. need to, all our people need to understand that these right here. I said it. If if country one can make four hundred eighty thousand dollars a month, I can do bad and make seventy thousand a month. That ain't that bad. Mm -hmm. I take the seventy. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just saying, we you guys got something special. You guys are a group of men that are are, are together and probably some female whoever. Let's let everybody see how it go down. Y'all yeah, yeah. and y'all y'all started this. I mean, from the Indigo Apartments yeah. all up, down, CPC, over there across skills, that yeah. jump off, all the way over yeah, across the yeah. street from jump off <laughs> at the barber shop, you niggas wouldn't go sit down no time. Nah. Why sit down now? 
Nah, ain't no sitting down. And right now, y'all ought to be catching in because y'all, like I said, you already been gone. Like I said, the Instagram thing wasn't even prevalent when nah, you left nah. here. Facebook. It was basically My Facebook, space. nigga. I was yeah. a king of Facebook, nigga, yeah. back then. Y'all, nigga, I hurt them boys with Facebook. Yeah, MySpace, just go look my MySpace up, nigga. Yeah, that MySpace, I should yeah. be booming on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm still, 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 you can still go on there. Man, that should be true. Nigga, get on there. You might go back then. Well, I ain't gonna lie. I was the first in Texas to go viral, man. Like I, I, I was okay. ahead of my time. Explain when it came that to, to me. Shit. Like, like how you go uh, and viral? What, and what did you used to go viral? What was it? I was the first viral? to put the Dougie, a person boogieing on YouTube in Dallas. Where that channel at? That channel is, is disappearing somewhere. You can't even look it up. I still, I got the old video on Facebook, but that first video I posted on YouTube, that channel, like when I guess that channel don't just disappear. It's man, still there. I'm, I'm telling you, man. It's actually, you look for it? Yes, I've been searching. I didn't hit up Google. It's like when I right when I got out. Was it like your channel? Was it, hate it. was it your channel or was it's it my like, channel? It was, was my, it was a little Spain channel. Did you have a phone number? You remember the phone it number? It wasn't no phone number thing back then. It, it was wasn't. Just, it was just, just the email YouTube. and the email. password. Yeah. And you remember the email? And you I seen the it in my cell before I got out. Like, I should watch it on the phone. You know what I'm saying? But when I got out, like, that bitch disappeared. I'm like, God damn. Like, yeah, hey. somebody that hated, you know, some people that's up there in, in the mix, you know what I'm saying? Probably did something, but we've been searching for it. But you got the video still? Yeah, I got one of the old videos on Facebook. Yeah, man, yeah. I still you, you. If you got the old video on Facebook, take off. Yeah. Man, you can't worry about this. How many views it got on Facebook? I don't need no. I gotta look at it. I know when I first did it on YouTube, that bitch had got like fifty thousand like a month. That's a that's hell of that big. Was, that was big then. That's how the record, the major record labels came and found Lil Will for the Dougie mm. off that YouTube video. Cause I used to be on the internet all day, boom, 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 just on there, pop. Um, Posting shit, loading shit up, doing videos all day. You know what I'm saying? I seen uh, Soldier Boy, how he used to do it, and I followed his little format, because he was one of the first I seen you could make money off that YouTube. So I started following that and doing it our way. You know what I'm saying? It popped off when I put that video of me dug in in the club, it just took off. Like, everybody used to know me. Everybody used to go, they was like, Spain, Spain, man. I'd be like, damn, where y'all know me from? I don't rap. Yeah. But they used to see this YouTube. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They see me in my white shades, they come through going crazy. Kill like, it, I was man. bigger than Will at the time. Cause yeah. They, we ain't dropped the Dougie video yet. Yeah, they just used to see me Dougie. Everybody talk just, about that. And it just went from there. Videos, all type of different videos. That's why they called me the Boogie King, because I had that Boogie on my back. How old was you when, they, when you first done it? Like, 18, 19. 18. 19. And he was like, hell yeah, nigga, I'm for the dance on these niggas. Yeah, man, I call it dancing because I said gangsters don't dance, we boogie. We all boogie. See, I made it cool for everybody to do it. So, but you, know but, you but you, yeah, because all these niggas was coming over here, call mm -hmm. itself doing it. I remember this. Everybody. everybody. You had these niggas on lock now. These niggas' yeah, mind was gone. Like, we used to go to the club and rock. And like, that's when Dallas was really fun in the club. Now when I go, everybody sit down and just do this and like, they're like, you want a sex? And I'm like, I get in the sex. And I'm like, damn, I can't move in this mother. I like yeah. to move. Yeah, yeah. But you, you still like to dance. What? I boogie all oh, the time. Boogie. Yeah, all the time. They, they know when I come through, Spain gonna boogie. They see me, they, uh, my dug it, they gonna play they it. They gonna and play I'm gonna it. do my thing. Like, and they know. Where That's you get that from? Where you get it? Like, did, was your mom, your dad? Who I, liked to dance? Um, You know, the Dallas boogie, it always been going on in Dallas. Like, you know, my first time seeing it was from Oak Cliff niggas, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Lil Joe. He was the first I seen put it on, like, a TV screen that watched me do this. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And me, we used to just be in the clubs at after hours, popping them tabs, full of that weed, and then I just started just hitting it. And me, I just got so good with it, I was like, damn, we could do something with this. Like, take this to another level. Made it your own. And my boy Will was already rapping. So Rude Boy was like, Will, you need to drop a song for Spain, so he can hit that hoe too in the club. Cause you see what he do when he go to the club. When I go to the club, females everywhere. It's gonna be live. They calling my name on the mic. I ain't no rapper, I'm just a street nigga, you know? They just showing love, cause I'ma get it live. I'm on the stage all day, we geeked up, pulling them uh, pulling them things, seeing what? spaceships. We out of there, you know what, what I'm club? saying? club? Club One, Club Blue, DMX back then, Rhythm City. T.I. after hours, we, I, that's when every day at the club. Every yeah, day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We just used to boogie and just turn up. That's when Dallas, you ain't no sitting down in the club. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no, we all. Uh, and you weren't rapping back then? I wasn't rapping yet. No, okay. he started rapping. He rapped just a little bit after that. Yeah, I rapped a little bit after. So, Will dropped that Dougie, and we put that boy in Club One, and I just hit that stage, got to hitting it. So everybody's like, damn, what's this? Like, everybody just watching it, and it just, I just perfected it. 
and put it on a format where you can know you can make money off this now. Mm -hmm. This is a new era. This is a new sound for Dallas. Like, this is our sound. Like, nobody sounded like Dallas niggas back then. When you hear our Dallas songs, you knew, okay, that's a Dallas nigga. What, was you out there that day when uh, Dougie Fresh came down? Yeah, I was out there. Uh, that's a good, let's go through that for a second. Just give me a, a spiel on how that day went when that video was even I ain't gonna lie, that's one, uh, that was a beautiful day right there, Let's man. talk about it. Because when, we, when Dougie Fresh came to me that day, it was like, bro, I appreciate what you're doing, and I love what you're doing, coming from the OG. I was like, man, I appreciate it. Like, I know who you is, Doug. You know, you, got, you know, I'm young. I jam you. Like, we used to jam. My mom used to jam you, and that made me feel so good coming from him. We hit it together, you know. We, but, he, but how did you know he was coming? You, oh, give me some uh, details. What was going you know, on? Um, he hit. He hit. Uh, his son hit Will up, and was like, man, my daddy like y'all song, and was like, man, he like the fuck with y'all, man. We like, and Will like, bet, man. You know, we finna shoot the Dougie video soon, so you know the labels asylum. No, now he shot in the cast, came through. It came through. We went to Big T. I know. And you gotta understand that every hood is out there. Yeah. That's one thing we did. One thing rude and put in our mind, like man, let's bring the city together. Every hood is out there. Not talking about no beef, no problems. It's just so much fun. When Dougie came out that limo, we put him on top of that Caprice. It just went crazy. It just, it was just so much love and so much fun. Cause you got the legend really vouching for us, like. Yeah, we he hit I, that hole too. Daddy hit that hole, so that made me feel so good. I just turned up the whole night. Yeah, and it yeah. was just so much love that night because everybody was out there showing love. Now, south, east, west, cliff, and the grove, and like you don't get them too much in Dallas. Was there any other outside celebrities there that day? Yeah, Dallas celebrities. Yeah, Who nobody else. No, no. Was any any anybody out of town? Was just just Dougie. Yeah, just Dougie. That's you know, right. We tried, we kept it just super triple D, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But we were so Dallas, man. You know, that's that's one thing I should always push when it came to that boogie era, Dallas boogie. Yeah. And when I got locked up, it seemed like they took that away. Yeah, because well, that's the one thing that well, Dallas you know, is known for is, is the dance era. That's the one that's, thing. That's, 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 right. that's him and hit that, you know, which yeah. we're going to get into that too, you know, because uh, I remember back then hit that was coming here as a kid. And um, mm -hmm. it just, you know, all the dance stuff but but hit that and them came after y'all yeah after they came you, right after us right after y'all they, they they really like they really seen our format and, and really did the same thing yeah revamped it you know okay. we, we gave them the format we showed these boys like man this boogie is where it's at okay and they start seeing it like it was us fat pimp the trap stars little shine you know it was like a few of us that all started and we saw all be on the road together yeah you know everybody came after that we're like okay we see how they doing it you know dougie was one of the biggest hits then you know, yeah. everybody just ran out that format and everybody started eating. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Wasn't well, nothing, nothing wrong with that because we all Dallas niggas and then we all going to get money together. Yeah, and that's live. So y'all basically, y'all kid Big T parking lot that day. It yeah, was, yeah. was it a Sunday? Was that a Sunday? Nigga, was it a Sunday? I think, I don't know. It might have been a think, damn Sunday, boy. Nigga used to kick gotta, it on I Sunday up that though. Oh, yeah, yeah. You remember back in the day, Sunday? Oh, yeah. I, You know what I just thought about? Um, So you travel a lot when you were doing this, right? Oh, yeah. Were you one of the groups that went to Hawaii? And I was locked up then. You were locked up yeah. then. Okay, I was I just checking to see then. if you was in that group. <laughs> I wish I was then. I think they, they did that right when I got locked up. They yeah, right yeah, that had to be hurt, hurt for T because that was the that was the tip top of your your career. We yeah. don't get into that, yeah, but it's right. just I, I look at you, man, as as okay. That right there was live. I I, w I definitely, if I were you, I would definitely be putting me up a video. So I'm saying, hey, I'm back. And, yeah. you know, basically in a way to where it don't have to be the way it used to be, the new way that they doing yeah, things, way, creating yeah. that content because people need to see. That's why niggas, if you ain't, if this thing ain't popping, it's hard to pop, you yeah, know, yeah. so you got to stay on these niggas necks, man. And and, and and I know you got it, so you just got to come on with it. I'm yeah, waiting. Yeah. That's what I'm doing and why I've been working. I ain't. I only been out for hundred twenty some days. Yeah, really sixty you days. Count down. I was, oh yeah, I counted because I was only I was locked down on that monitor sixty days. So I really only been out, moved around for like mm -hmm. sixty how, days. How many uh, How many years did you do? Twelve years, seven months. Ooh. Twelve years on a fifteen year sentence. Twelve years, seven months. What did you months. get in trouble for? Man, doing some crazy shit. I wanted, I shouldn't did. You know, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Got yeah, I I hear letting these nigga know. Yeah, it, it, it's hard. And you have so many people out here who do the same thing and still get off for way less than that. Well, it, he probably didn't. He didn't have his gloves on or something. 
Nah, they, they do, they 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 probably, they do, they do, they do. They did it to probably didn't say nothing, you know. <laughs> you, know what I'm he, you know, I'm tripping off the fact you of got, uh, how you got walking mouse around here, man. Yeah. yeah. So let me let me just let me just uh, be real with you, man. When it, do we want to get into that 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 going to prison part now or? Um, no, I have a question. Something else. Other okay, than go ahead. You you said you're of Jamaican descent. Um, tell me about how how is that? I think. Is that you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He is. So your um, grandmother, grandfather, who? Yeah, my grandmother. Your grandmother? I'm, yeah, my one, of my uh, my sperm donor. He's they was Jamaican descent. <laughs> sperm donor. Yeah. I really, I really don't, I really don't know him like that. Mm-hmm. But so you, so you don't know what part of Jamaica or none of that? Uh, I think probably Kingston. Okay. Yeah, cause my sister, you know, my sister, sister Jamaica sister would say. No, I know. I yeah. yeah, I know, but I don't remember if she told me exactly what part or who it I is. I think it's Kingston. Yeah. I need to go out there. I really I ain't done it yet because I just really met all them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just met Jamaica for the first time when I got out of jail. Really? Yeah. I did not know I that. met one of my little brothers for the first time in jail. How many brothers and sisters you got? Nine and all. No. Yeah. How many for your father? Uh, like seven. And your mom is out of the two? Yeah, nine. me. Yeah. yeah my you mama and your sister? No, no. My mom is seven. No, eight. Eight on my father. Me and my... <sighs> Other little brother and my mm. mama. Okay. This nigga, the, the, Ooh, your, daddy was a rolling yeah, star. Yeah, daddy was around here doing it. But that, that had to be when we was buying weed over there at Fuji's in the South or something. <laughs> this had to be back then. This was a long time ago, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, you was young. I was down there trying to get to it, and them Jamaicans was over here before we ran them off. Yeah, yeah, I should hear about that. It was yeah, crazy. I remember Stop this. Stop saying you ran them off. Y'all ain't running nobody off. We ran them off. niggas off. We ran <laughs> them <laughs> off. Them <laughs> niggas is not in Dallas no more Jamaicans like that. Jamaicans don't get ran off. Hey, bro, we ran them niggas off. <laughs> no, no, no. A nigga lot ran them, them niggas up out of no, Dallas, man. No, a lot of them still here. You just don't know. Boys caught they, a lot of bodies back then. Boys caught a lot of bodies back then. Yeah, they had to get it together. I locked up with a few of them that had to. Jamaicans killing us, Dallas niggas killing us. Yeah, we had to clear it out. They yeah, don't do that. Of, I bet they don't do that no more. Nah, they don't. They don't. <laughs> They said it was wars. I've done a lot of old schools to talk about that. They, yeah, they it was because really, they had a whole real shot to shit down there. Man. They had a whole run <laughs> here in Dallas. Mm -hmm. They was really out here handling being it like they was really gonna just. They thought we was gonna go for it, but no, it Ooh, didn't happen like that. Yeah, it's different now here in Dallas, you know. The streets is back, you know, in control. It's quiet outside. <laughs> right after Friday, you know, after uh, Ricky got killed on Boys in the Hood, that vibe. You know what I'm saying? So you go, you get you get in trouble, um, you you know, and I don't even know if I want to detail how you got in trouble. But yeah, I got to because that's yeah. how the that's how the whole uh, uh the whole thing. But First, I want to get into you and Soldier Boy's relationship. Right. You know, when you first met him, because I met him a few times. I had a, a matter of fact, one is uh, label people he got on his label here a few yeah. weeks ago, and uh, just want to understand just how you and him, uh, how y'all even came to know each other. Okay, yeah, uh, because he tried to he tried to tape the Dougie. Just so Soldier Boy was one of those guys that 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 really came to try to figure out a way how to infiltrate. I yeah. heard about this. Yeah, try to get hot out something new. Like I was just was this after he said uh uh what was that that he had a song about his chain one time. It, it was it was a, it was a song about his chain. No, that wasn't that wasn't him. You you know he stole your song. You I mean he so stole, stole your dance moves, but he, he tried. He he tried. He, he tried. couldn't do it. Like we we up. This late. was a step up from the you. Yeah, it this right after you. But listen, we we up one up late night one time on YouTube, and my boy Rude hit me up like, bro, look at this video. This it looked like nigga Soulja Boy trying to do the Dougie or something. He had some song called My Swag. And the video still That's on it. YouTube. That was what that was it. It's still on there. You can see it. And he, I see him trying to do. It. I'm like, what the fuck you doing? And the beat sounded the same, so I hit him a message like, look out, bro. You know, we we signed everything copyrighted. You can't take that. So I don't know what you got going on. He was trying. Then he tried to take the video off, but somebody copied it and put it back on there. So boom, like, they going off on the comment, like, ah, you ain't gonna steal our shit, you got us fucked up. And like that next week, we all got a show together. And that went Valley View. Ma was here with 97.9. Yeah, yeah, there. yeah. It was a jingle jam. So but we pull up, we all there. You know, me, I'm on some, I'm young on some beef shit. Like, man, where this nigga at? They ain't finna steal our shit, you know, I'm trying to check something. Mm-hmm. See, he was in the back room, he didn't come out, you know what I'm saying? You know, then he performed and shit. So I go in the crowd, like, nigga, we don't crank that, we dug it, we boogie out here, man, y'all fuck that, crank that shit. So I had the whole crowd boogie. 
So he get, I see him do a little something, throw some water and shit uh, across the. Oh, he upset. <laughs> yeah. He trying to do it on the slide though. No, so I get mad. I'm ready to go on stage. But bro, like chill, chill, chill. So right after that, his manager or something came through. Like me and Soldier Boy like the song, man. He really want to fuck with y'all. Blah blah blah. Nigga still also like, man, fuck this shit, man. man fuck him. We don't need yeah, him. Yeah. But then, bro, Rude was like, we get to the house. He's like, damn, bro. This nigga is the hottest thing smoking in the world right now. Let's just run a play. You know what I'm saying? Let's, he, he, me and Mrs. on, on MySpace and YouTube. Talking about how he got love for the Dougie. He wasn't trying to steal it. He really want to fuck with us. I hear in the back like, shit, fuck it. Let's work, man. You know, another black man to another black man. Let's eat, damn. Oh, fuck all that dumb shit. Let's get some money. Hey, you think if you wouldn't have came him that way, he would have told you that? Or he would have put the internet? What, if I went to beefing? Yeah. You think if you wouldn't have told him that, came him like that? Nah, I don't, he probably, he, I don't think so. I don't think he wasn't on that type of level then. Nah, the reason why I say it, he, t- he do he doing some of the same shit right now. Like, yeah. he try to take somebody's stuff and they'll come at him better, and then he'll try to pull him onto his side and try to bring him on. He's still doing the same shit now. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, I think, I think he probably would never did said nothing. Cause back then he was young. I mean, but he's he's still doing the same shit now though. So like some stuff he's been doing back in the day, he still can do it now because he's famous. So he can yeah. grab somebody young and bring him in like that. Oh okay. Well, I don't, I don't, I think he would have did it differently. So nah, what, I think that's how they be getting stuff. They they go grab somebody young or look at somebody young and yeah. take their style and they don't something about it. Then they will keep it. But they take something about it here, try to grab them, try to bring them on. Well, I think a lot of artists probably be doing that too. Yeah. I think yeah. they do. They, they, they ain't know, but I think you they know you do was it. locked up, and uh, yeah. there was a time when Goyeo got hot, mm-hmm. and it kind of was the same type feel where he came and got Goyeo and took him. It's something about this area. He liked to come down here. And, yeah. But they, it's not a soldier. And, and yeah, but uh. Here. But it, it wasn't no beef though. It, once it, bro, so so much love, bro. Let me tell you, Richard, he showed so much love to us. Cause we was going to LA that same week he was in LA performing with Chris Brown. Then bro did a uh, show at the big ass stadium in Universal and hit the Dougie at the end. And like LA wasn't even on us yet and showed love. Then we went to the studio and he did the verse for nothing. Oh, yeah. That's real. Yeah, so love. This, I'm telling you, this is the hottest nigga in the nation. So that was real, yeah. that was fly. Then we did a little YouTube, it's on YouTube. I'm here, I'm showing him how to boogie. Then we get on there, I'm talking like Dallas, man, This he good, man, y'all give him a pass, it's all love, let's fuck with him. Drop the verse, we put that bitch on the radio, and one thing when Soulja Boy got on that bitch, he helped us take that bitch to a whole nother level. Yeah. And yeah. he was hitting the bu- dug in the boogie in every video he was in. So you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, well, it wasn't nothing after that, we was all good, you know what I'm saying, we were fucking around strong. You don't know, say it wasn't nothing, you know what I'm saying? You know, you guys basically, uh, you were hot as hell. You 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 got ready to, uh, you know, you was you you got so hot. Did you and Will y'all 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 stay? Did y'all ever have issues with this whole situation? You know, because usually good teams fall out. To be honest with you, yeah, so yeah. did y'all have times where you felt like damn, you know, or he, you know, he felt like damn, you or you know. And when I say that, I'm just talking about far as the credibility of what's going on with the whole movement. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a big movement. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. One thing about fame and money, you see people change. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've been on bro for a long time, you know. And like, once we started getting a little bigger, I seen his head start getting a little bigger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was like, it fucked me up. Like, What was he, when you say that, explain. Give me some, give me a... You know, like, man, trying to do shows without calling the squad. Sneaking out, trying to get all the show money to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Just doing a little sneaky shit. Know what I'm saying? Stealing and doing all type of crazy ass shit, getting mad over hoes. Know what I'm saying? Try to, he ever try to cut you out like like all together and say, you know, I'm just not rocking with you no more. Or it was always he had to because y'all was so close and knitted. Yeah, it was times when he did do that. Like I met Will, I met Rude through Will. Okay. And Rude start fucking with me stronger because Will has, I don't know, he was going through something. And we was like, what the did fuck? Did he have another team, or did he have people in his ear, you think? I think it, I, it was people in his ear. He had weenies in his ear. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you don't need them. You, like, yeah, you little them weak. Ain't, yeah, them niggas weak in the biz. And they were dry on some more shit. Like, we got into a situation that came up for one time. We trying to promote the uh, album. You letting this rat nigga all in your ear talking about let's go open up for Lil Wayne. But we supposed to go to Oklahoma. Who is the rat nigga? Is that the one that y'all yeah. had the issue with? Yeah, a nigga named Hoodie Baby. A rat, okay. A real rat. You know so, what I'm so he was trying to. So, do you think he was a big part of trying to make things go different during that yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, he was. He was a snake. You know what I'm saying? We thought he was trill. Then you start realizing when somebody around, you see they real. 
Real you true see, colors. Yeah, you see that real true colors. See it's that. been years now. Have you ever even asked Will, did this really happen, or is this something you guys just think yeah, or man, you yeah. think could, man, might yeah, happen? Yeah, me and bro, good, man. We talk. You know, we brothers. No, so I'm asking, did he ever break down that, that whole... Uh, time like when these things was going on like yeah and they kept saying this or saying that yeah man we had talked he realized like man you know he got too cocky at the time and you know he like yeah bro I tripped out you know we the humble he the humble God now. is the one that'll humble you yeah man we got right you know what I'm saying I was with bro the other day man I told him as long as we ain't no blood been shed, ain't no been we ain't never told on each other about nothing. We could commend any beef. You know what I'm yeah. saying? As long as no shit like that happen, it's all good. You know that's that, real. That's bro. We from the hood. It's love. That's real, man. Uh, yeah. I mean, so hood boss. To be honest with you, you you just say he was a snitch or whatever. Um, I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, uh, when you think about just uh, the thing that. Um, you guys are uh, doing, you know, far as far as y'all is is it street though? Is it really street? It's not street when y'all when when this stuff happened between you and this guy. Yeah, it was just the point of cause he not no street nigga like that. Nah, but he shows. But you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, he portrayed like he was really gonna be about it. But street is street, yeah. right? But this nigga, if he just cause rappers rap, yeah. Uh, Promoters promote, managers manage. Yeah, uh, music niggas. I really don't. It's a difference. You know that now yeah, since yeah, you've yeah. been through so yeah, much. Yeah, them niggas ain't. But a lot of them now you look that, at them now. Like place. what the fuck? And you like, huh? They all over the place. You like these niggas ain't, ain't, really ain't what bad. we doing? And that that what fucked us up. I'm thinking the way you come at me talking about a motherfucking song we did that we didn't make no money off of. It was just to let people know I'm rapping. You threatening us about. You threatening us with guns when you see us? You gonna get at us and shoot us? Like, fuck this rap. I went. I just started this. We. I was really doing this before this rap. And nigga just snap. You let y'all let my emotions think for me instead of thinking. You know okay. what I'm saying? Really tripped out. Then realized he ain't really about that life. And, wow. sc- and start screaming and squealing right after that. You know what I'm saying? And and so. This guy here, he's 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 a he's an industry guy to this day. I keep, oh, yeah, he, I go yeah. back to the industry part because we 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 cannot make this nigga a street nigga if he don't have street tendency. If he ain't did nothing in the streets, he ain't really. Cause that's what he gonna say if you ever if I ever was to interview the nigga, he gonna be like, I'm not street, you know. It nah, was, it, it, let me tell you something. It was a, a thing with Scarface. Scarface, Ice Cube. It's a bunch of niggas that say I ain't street. Like I'm an actor, you know. What I'm like these niggas will change on yeah, you, yeah. but the nigga the ain't, he ain't acting like that. This nigga cl- steady claim he super game banging now. You out here, big saying you do this and do this. You know what I'm saying? Just w- what I see, what you portray. How do you see now on his IG? You can see all, all this shit all on stuff the internet. Is on yeah, I hear it through the grapevine in the streets. The niggas just you know said you go out there in L. A. Act like you were just a super goon knocking niggas out. That's how Chris Brown then start fucking with you. Yeah, but they don't really know you's a bitch. If it really go down, these but people come. I mean, I don't even look at his Chris Brown a street nigga. Shit, I don't, let's just go. Let's I look at this. So. What you I, mean? They say he who the hell is they? No, I'm saying, I'm saying these niggas. But the this what you understand? What I'm saying? Like, come on, guys, the the y'all. You, guys, y'all, 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 y'all you, you dealing with a nigga that just did 12 yeah, years in the damn that. penitentiary? Yeah. He went down there to Gurney Unit. They said well, you are on the Joe F. Gurney Unit. These niggas checked this nigga at the door, and he knew he was locked up. He went probably to a 24 man tank. He got to go see six four at the lunch line. The nigga was done. Nigga, that ain't real some real shit. But what I'm saying, but then you come back here and you say, "Well, he with Chris Brown, or he with he." You understand what yeah. I'm saying? I just don't think you give this nigga that much credibility if right. that's not what he is. They need. I'm saying they portraying it when they not. That's they, what I'm saying. You you act, you get it? You, I get it. You know yeah, I get you it. You acting like street niggas. <laughs> you know I get it. You acting like you a game banger. But that's not that's not real. You ain't about none of that. Exactly, and I think that's where we get, we got to draw the line on yeah. what's real and what's not. These guys are not gang. These guys are not like that. 
Bingo. These guys are entertainers. They go out at night with a lot of security. They scared when they for their life, nigga. Yeah, he can't. He can't come. I ain't gonna say the name. No, they cut your city without the laws. Right? I seen a nigga the other night on real. They showed that nigga one of y'all hardest niggas, and I even like the nigga music. And and it just showed something like a, a, a niggas got to moving fast when he was leaving the stage or something. The nigga almost ran up out there. Oh, left his security and everything. I'm a, what I'm saying. But he on the on the song, he gonna and you gonna be like damn. That nigga, but that nigga is not like that. He has no credentials to be like that. Nah. And when I'm in the room with him, I can tell you he's not like that. Yeah, that nigga's not. So I'm not gonna keep getting any credit. Y'all do that on y'all. I'm not doing. I ain't giving them no I'm credit. Not, <laughs> hey, that's I'm why, why I said shit. the internet. <laughs> These niggas are like a mirage. That's what they be doing. They just, they just fake. It's just not. It's just too many people. Our people getting confused by this stuff for us not to be real about what really. Goes and when down. the real niggas get. Wanted to be too real or get real street, you're going to die or go to jail. Yeah. That's like why I said, especially in this industry, it's like you, if you're a real street nigga, you stuck. you like you stuck at a fork. Like, damn, I got to stop this street shit so I won't die or go to jail. You know what I'm saying? I got to get my mind right then, but you got so many fuck niggas around. Instead of... What, they picking at you. Instead of saying this, they're doing this and make you want to snap. But you When you go to control. like, like, like to a job or if you go to get, you do your resume... You go in, you say, this is me, this is what I did. You're going to prove yourself. This is what make me able to be the one that you need to hire for this job. Yeah. Okay, let's flip that to street credentials. A nigga coming in to talk to you, say, this is what make me street. Yeah. Them niggas' paper going to be blank as hell. Yeah, niggas don't want to do paper. But no, no, you know they don't have no credentials for this. Yeah. But then we get in conversation, it's like, ah, oh, these niggas, man, they, they, you know, they, they, they he did this, he did that, but... They yeah, still don't they, need they don't street. They got the yeah. best life though without the paperwork. They don't need. They got it. the best lives though. Stay out of the streets, yeah. bro. You got the best life out of the streets, bro. But it I, really I, ain't worth I, it. I really hate. You know, I gotta say, man, you one of the, the guys that you did this time, and you went in and you know had to sit down like you did, um, man. Uh, to be the made it out of that situation yeah, is really. really something that's 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 a blessing. You I know, still got my mind together. That's yeah. How was it on the Joy of Gurney unit when you? That was the first one you hit. Yeah, me and bro pulled up together. Okay, I need to interview him too. I'm gonna interview that nigga. He coming on Boss Talk. He yeah, yeah, he got yeah. He yeah, cause I want to talk about the penitentiary. I'm crazy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead and tell me about yeah, the, man, uh, pull, the hey, when, when, I, you, when you first got there. Hey, pull it up. You know when you come from, you know, <laughs> when you leave a Terry County. You know when you go to Gurney, you see Beto. So you like God damn. <laughs> This one nigga better go this big ass pay attention. You got like, niggas been talking about this whole yeah, so but nigga nigga nervous. I ain't scared. Oh, everybody nervous. I ain't scared because nigga, real, I'm real street nigga. Everybody tell you from any hood that know me, Spain about it, he a real well, cool you, nigga. You had your nigga with you, but yeah, I had bro with me. You know. <laughs> so when I get off, you know, it's people that was on the unit that know me. I'm telling you what's this way, so big old nigga out of old cliff walk up over here, nigga huge. Like my nigga pig, he like Damn, what, what's up, Spain? I'm like, damn, what's up? Like, I stood back like, what's up, bro? He like, nah, bro, I just want to tell you, man, I know you, bro, man. I hate you down here, but, but you good, bro. You good down here. What you need, man? You got some soup? You know, they want to let yeah, you go to the commissary yeah, yeah. when you first get there. Yeah. So, I mean, that be, I'm so, you know, you know it. Nigga done know. told you already. You like, yeah. I'm going to have to do something to one of these niggas. <laughs> I just got here. Yeah. And I seen the movie. Yeah. A nigga going to try something in this hole. Yeah. And I'm going to have to let that nigga know I don't play. Yeah, but like, it was, a, when I got in there, a lot of love. I ain't never really had problems in jail. Okay, especially the whole Dallas. But, everybody used to fuck with me. But how was it when you first went in? Did you go in the dorm? Or, oh, yeah, I went in the dorm. How was it? You walk in with yeah, your, yeah. you, got your, you got your, yeah, we got, yeah, you we got, got your, you got your mat. Yeah, we got your mat. <laughs> <laughs> that sheet. They give us a little soap. <laughs> You ain't got no deodorant. You got rugs and soap under your arms. It's real. I'm telling y'all, you know, it's real down there. I'm giving it to them. That's why I was You brush your teeth with a little toothbrush and bleach they give you. Like, is it white? Yeah, the white shit and the thing. Like, I think it's a game. That shit y'all see on these telephones, it be, it be good for a minute. That shit is real. That shit ain't nothing live about that. <laughs> and we went on lockdown. It's hot. Oh, yeah? In May. It's you, 120 degrees in this bitch. Yeah, because when it's hot, it's hot, and when it's cold, it's cold. Johnny Niggas sack. don't realize that. So we in that hole like, damn. Struggling. Explain what a Johnny Sack is. Some a people don't know what it is. It's a brown paper bag. It's a brown paper bag with like a bologna and bread and probably a motherfucking egg that's cracked up in that motherfucker. That's about it. And you, you come in three, on that. You get three of those a day. 
If you ain't got no commissary, you, your stomach out of there. Like, you're gonna be hurting all day. You better just hope you have a pot in there that got a few soups so y'all can bust this whole down, take the bread out, cut the meat up, throw it up in there. Outside the bread. Make sure you try to make a little spread out of it, but them Johnny's ain't what's up. So, so you get in there and you 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 you, you, you get your you, you get your settle in. You didn't have to whoop no nigga the first day. Nah, nah that's nah. cool. You know, at the end of the day, but you in here yeah. and you like, damn man, I'm down here. Damn, yeah, like it, I, it, get, it, it, it hits you then. Yeah, you, know, you like I'm real. here. You open your eyes and wake up. You see the bricks. You like, damn, what the <laughs> fuck I did? Now you thinking about your situation. Now you thinking about everything you did. Like now you realizing, like, damn, I fucked up. Then did you end up that ne- what day when they put you on that trailer and took you out to the field? Oh man, they still <laughs> right. you know I'm they, going. We they, gonna go. We gonna go down to the. Tell they, me they, about they, that they, day. That whole squad was okay, one, I, one AP. That right, whole squad, one hole, two hole, three hole. <laughs> My first day going whole squad, I got a case. What happened? Cause what? I didn't wake up early. Now. You know they coming five thirty, six thirty in the morning. I don't know what the fuck going on. So they, I get I get up later. They got a case and not going to work. I'm like, damn what the fuck. I didn't know I had to work. Damn. Then in the penitentiary, a lot of people knew me from the Dougie. You know, they teach me how the Dougie was hot then, so everybody talk about Dougie. So they used to tell the laws about me. So I'd be out there at host squad. Hey, Dougie, get your Dougie ass up here at, uh, <laughs> at Lee Row. You, you the rapper. Oh, they all you like it. Nigga, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I was laying down. Like, you laid it down? You know what? Hell, y'all laid it down a couple times. I ain't doing none of this shit. I get on my knees, throw the whole hold down, like, man, fuck that. Y'all ain't even do me like that. I'm done. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was my first couple months, I got G4 my first six months. Wow. They put me in the cage and locked me down because I wasn't going to work. I was like, fuck that shit. I was They tripping. put you in that cage. Yeah, they put you locked down. That's yeah. when they take you out of regular population. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You sit in this cage all day, only come out for showers. You know what I'm saying? But they used to try to handle me. The, you know, I went to East Texas first. What was that? When I went Gurney. We're not the bottom. Bottom, yeah. So Burnham. the guards white. Yeah. They call Juneteenth nigga day up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they really do you bad. Like slavery is real. How long did you stay in Bonham? And how long did you stay in Gurney? I was at Gurney like two months. Yeah, it just transferred. Yeah, and I went to Bonham two years. Okay. That's why they sell G in there. Yeah, yeah. That's when I started getting a lot of cases for host squad. Like fuck that. I'm not going to work. You're not going. Cause they just call us out every day, Monday through Friday. They ain't giving you and nothing. And niggas don't know what rocking on it is. That's a hoe. Go look yeah. up a hoe on Google and see what it is. And you hitting it all day. Head yeah. high. Real slavery. You Sometimes they have machinery out there beside it. You, you see the saws. Yeah, that shit don't. They, they playing just, games with your yeah, mind. Yeah, they, they got saws out here. They got all kind of stuff they could do to work with. Yeah. But they don't let you use nah, that they stuff. They don't let you do it. You're going to cut down football fields of grass all day. D- then after that, I mean, how long? what's the longest unit that you stayed on while you was in there? Uh, I went there. I was at Bonham two years, and I went to West Texas for three years. West Texas? That's where they put you. They take you there when you're young. You leave there. You, where'd you go, French Robinson? I went to uh, uh, Roach Unit. Okay, she Roach was in Texas. Yeah, yeah. I know where you at. Yeah, they put all of us up there, man. Everybody that was from Dallas was up there. It was, you know what I'm saying? That's real. They real racist, too. Damn. They, they, I got I got cases for having ball fades. Yeah, dude. They should write us up for having, uh, for having uh, waves in our head. That's how racist it was Damn. up there. They used to be tripping. Did they, I mean, you seen a lot of fights. You probably, were you in a lot of fights? Not a lot, but I You was a young nigga. You was a young nigga. You got to fight, nigga. You can't yeah, just be I, in that hole. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying? Represent what I had to represent. You know, we had to go down there and handle some business with somebody to get out of line. Yeah. I done had a few fights, but I used to keep it so cool and player. Okay, everybody used to fuck with me. Yeah. Ain't no Spain rapping. You got everybody that rap, want to try to get on. You know, I'm giving people knowledge, showing love. So I ain't really getting into much conversation unless I had to. Yeah, yeah. I used to tell the man, call me when it get real. Like I'm not fighting no dumb ass shit like chairs and showers. You know what I'm saying? As long as they don't disrespect me, yeah, as long as they disrespect me, then I ain't even worry about it. You know, I'm yeah. in my own zone on this phone, writing these females, eating, working out. I, I, and then we gonna skip to the end because I, I, I'm riding in there too long. But yeah, yeah. the COVID thing when it hit and you was locked up, how scary was that for you? Oh, I, I ain't gonna lie, I thought I was gonna die. Yeah, I caught COVID. While you was in, I ain't got jammed up at walls. I did an interview off the phone, and they they called me and they G fold me. Okay. And COVID hit, and they felt like I was gonna die. Cause all they did was keep you in the cell. They didn't give you shit. They just kept you in the cell. They moved you from this cell to that cell. You know what I'm saying? One nothing ain't one nothing they could do. Niggas wow. just in there shaking, can't really breathe, yeah, can't bad. taste nothing. It was fucked up. I was smell, stuck okay, like smell, yeah, I was stuck like that for eight months in that cell by myself. 
You know what I'm saying? That shit was not real at all. I don't never want to catch that shit again. How, how important was God to you during that time? You know what I'm saying? When I found myself, you know, I'm an Islamic brother, you know what okay. I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, it was really important, you know, when I found myself. You now I practice the nation of God's earth. Okay. So I feel like everything around me, I control my own destiny. Okay. I feel like we all God. I feel like God is us. God is part of us, you know what I'm saying? Okay. The universe controls it, controls it all. That's real. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't knock nobody religion or nothing. You, you, know you can't. As long as, it, as long as it all leads the righteous path. That's where I go. Well, well you got to realize, I, I've always talked this way, too, is yeah. all, everybody's evolving. Yes. Nobody's stuck in one state. No. So when you, as you grow and go, you know, you never know where you're going to be at in the end anyway. Mm -hmm. So I never disrespect. I, I always taught an open knowledge for God. Yes, right. always. Yes. Because that way people can grow and live and love together. You know what I'm saying? Instead of you me just putting you in a box. I, I follow Christ, but I don't knock nobody over here for doing whatever no, they do. That, and I that. teach in a way to where we can all come together. Because it all leads us in one path into that God, that godly yeah. way, the godly way you move, the godly things you do. You know what I'm saying? It's righteous. That's all I'm about, righteousness. Get rid of all the devils, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I done taught that Tylene services and all kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. different, man. I love Tylene. Yeah, that's it. I'm different, yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> Yeah, but, but man, I gotta, I gotta go to one. Of what you do, man? I, next time you do some speaking like that, let me know. I'm coming. Yeah, yeah. But I even did it. I did it a lot of different times. But at any rate, when you think about when you came home, now you you get your Instagram. Let's talk about it yeah. for a minute. And you get you get to this uh um you know place where you like okay, I'm here now. They they got the you knew the Instagram going because you probably had a you might not have had but somebody might have had a phone you know when you were there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all seen IG uh, yeah, and you knew it was right. you what you was coming home to. Mm -hmm. Uh what did you think about it? Just the whole social media wave, TikTok, Instagram, uh uh all of this stuff. It was it was crazy because I was like, damn, I was doing this type of shit before I went was locked up. Like people used to really be tripping when I used to be out like in 2007, 2008, recording videos, trying to boogie, out in the open, just recording everything from a phone. Well, we used to have them little cameras in. Yeah, it was small. Yeah, yeah, you know no, what I'm saying? It was small. But now when I see it, I'm like, damn, this is really what the world involved to. And I really felt like I was ahead of my time back then. Like, damn, I really like it. Cause you don't really need nobody but yourself now. Everybody mm -hmm. can be their own entrepreneur. Everybody can work their mm -hmm. own grind. Cause it's there for you. The platforms are there, and I'm saying it, it like it got easier. And yeah, I see why these people making so much money now. Like these rappers making money, influencers making money, people that don't do no type of music making money. Exactly. Like they should be tripping me out. They just be booking people. I'm like, who is that? What he do? Oh, he just be on TikTok. That like, nigga TikTok famous. Yeah, he just got a long neck. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, this shit. <laughs> like, I'm saying, nigga, they ain't long neck, thick neck. I'm like, my sister brought them down or something. No like, neck. I'm like, like, who is these niggas? <laughs> that's what it be. It's crazy. But that's one thing I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to evolve to that level and then get with the youngsters. You know what I'm saying? You know, it take a little time. I'm still new to it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm working on that stage. Just getting there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> who, who do you like for the music go right now when you came home? Oh, before I came home? No, um, no, I was jamming that Mo, before I, Mo 3. I was like, I was jamming all Dallas. Mo, yeah, Yo, of course. Trap. Anytime they came on in, in jail, I'm going crazy. I ain't giving mm -hmm. that. You Triple D, I'm jamming you. But like Kevin Gates, J. Cole, you know what I'm saying? I like Young Boy, you know what I'm saying? Lil Baby, you know what I'm saying? I be on that, um, I like Finesse too. I like him right now, you know what I'm saying? Because he come from where I came from. That's that right, struggle. that's it. I love what he talking about, man. Uh, you know NBA Young Boy? Yeah, I like Young Boy. I like Young Boy. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm biased. He always screaming that now, so I be. <laughs> I, think, I think it because NBA just different. He got his own following. You can't stop him. You know, I like that about him. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. got like a cult following, or yeah. you can't, you can't mess with him. Young kids love him. Yeah, yeah. I see that. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. Behind that boy. Yeah, they love him. Yeah, that's yeah. the only thing. Yeah, he, he talk about some crazy stuff. He be jamming though. But, yeah. You know what do I'm you do? Okay, top three artists of all time, dead or alive? Right now? Yeah. Top three number artists. One. Number one, I'm gonna go with Face Mob. Scarface. Man, you, man, that's it. I'm I love that Scarface. I'm not that nigga, but let's keep going. Don't worry about that Louisiana nigga. Let's go. Zero to cricket. Zero that, to that, cricket. Man. I love that zero. <laughs> number two. And okay. Oh, yeah, I'm loud. I'm, I'm Texas biased, man. Yeah, yeah, but I'm going to be real with you. That's what I like that's to hear. That's what I like. I mean, that's just what I like. No, what I'm saying is I like to hear that because you from Texas and I can understand why you would feel that way. Yeah, that's, that's all I'm saying. Not saying that I don't, I don't knock nobody what they like, but uh, number three. Sweet Jones, man. 
man. Pimp C. P -P. You hear all that? I knew that was coming. That's what that I jam? jam. That's what I used to jam growing up. You hear that? I want you to just listen at this point. That's baby. That's what I used to jam. Why this nigga can come back to Boss Talk every week? I'm a hater's baby, too. I jam them. I jam them right now. This nigga kicking it right today over here, man. So you, you, okay, yeah, yeah. Face, face the one, bro. Greatest rapper alive. All I have in this one. <laughs> I can't say that because I didn't listen to him, so I can't, I can't go speak listen on that, to him. Bro. You need to go listen to him. <laughs> I'm not going back in the past. <laughs> go listen to me. Go listen to him. All he know is Mo3, Boosie, and uh, uh, oh, yeah. what's that other one? Mo3. One more. Who I else like Mo3. is it? Boosie, too. Boosie Who else is it? Webby. Webby. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, his yeah. top three. Yeah, they, bro, yeah, I'm they from hard. Louisiana, so what you expect? Yeah, he from Louisiana. Yeah, I fucked them too. They, if you did top ten, there. they would have been up in there. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I fucked so, them. So, so do you? Do you, what do you want to see? What do you want to see yourself in the next? Uh, in the next year? Next year? Yeah, in the next year. Within now and a year's time. Okay, what you, I just want to see myself most successful, and helping myself and helping my team build into something that we always been dreaming about in the pen, like helping build ourselves up. And helping build the people around us up, you know what I'm saying? Let's all grow together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm never, never been a selfish person. If it, I want to start with my team, then I want to really build this city up. You know what I'm saying? That's with the entertainment and the music. And another thing I want to do is really work more with the restaurant and my people and them, trying to get some food truck going. You know what I'm saying? Probably just get it get it started. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Probably in a year, you know, it take time. But that's one of the main things to do when we getting it started. Yeah. Trying to get some food trucks. Try to help open another restaurant. Okay, you know what I'm saying that's all about just just get building the business mode. Yeah, that's it, man. You know I got that broke down in my plans. I got big things full of goals, things I need to do, things I want to do. But in that year, that's what I really want to do: just help build the brand and the business a little more. What about the music? Are you staying away or? No, nah, no, nah, I'm still rapping. I got I just dropped a single to, um a few weeks ago. Where the smoke at? Big Spain, Bitch AB went went pretty hard. Oh yeah, yeah, it's live. It's nice. Yeah, and you know, what, what did you have to do a visual to it and everything? That's what we finna do soon. Okay, yeah, do. that visual is more important yeah, than anything. We finna right do now. the video real soon. Yeah, we've been yeah. shooting little clips right now. We yeah. were supposed to shoot a couple of weeks ago, but that Sunday the rain, rain just yeah. messed up everything. Yeah. You know um, what I'm saying? Now, when you look at uh, rappers and being victimized, like uh, PMB Rock, uh, yeah. and you and you RIP PMB. Yeah, for real. Um, just um, um, to see one where. Did it throw you where where one talks about one dropping his address, one wearing his jewelry, one getting called out of pocket and 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 not having uh, having it on him or whatever? What did you think when you heard that happen? Like man, this is like I ain't never seen rap be this scary and real like that. Like this this internet is down there almost like the streets, man. You can't really post too much and letting people know where you at. And like when you stunt like that, like them goons coming for you, it's like, it really be tripping me out. I'd be like, damn, I gotta p record it now and just post later. Cause it's like they coming, mm -hmm. like these people just really watching, looking for a come up. And it's like, I ain't never seen as many rappers die like that. Yeah. I seen you know, some back uh, then. die yesterday. Mm -hmm. I seen some uh, die yesterday in South Dallas. This was after uh, strap damn. shooting. It's literally right down the street, with, you know where strap got shot at? It's like, probably like you can walk five minutes down the street and Right there in the middle of the street. It's, it's I'm on the phone to a brother. I'm like, man, why are you police flying out here? Like, bro, went down the street, nigga, land in the middle of the street. Another thing. Yeah. The next day after that happened. Yeah. Wow. And just the way the way the game is now, it's like, damn, you really got to stay on point. You got to stick and move. Mm hmm. It's you like can't stay too I long. had a little chick I was talking to on the post and put a location. I'm like, man, stop that shit. What is yeah. You, what are you dealing yeah. with like. Why you want You just trying to do Too much clout But it's niggas out here That's hungry But what's no, it's not, Hold on is hold on it, Let me speak on that It's not that She not in the mind frame You in She just yeah. thinking She in a situation She finna have fun She finna post it And have go She not thinking How you thinking Yeah and I realize that behind it, yes. Yeah I realize that You're not thinking it But What's wrong with How people to where It comes to a point Where you can't even Go out to a restaurant Where a family oriented People, and people daylight. usually Would never do this nah. guys People wasn't just going up robbing people in front of people every uh, in the daylight with their kid there. Broad daylight with their kid there. And like, the, like, bro, so you ever see the gangster movies when the kid yeah. there, nigga? The yeah, gangster yeah. put their gun with. down. That street, they that OG code. You remember Scarface? What Scarface say on there when the, he seen the kid? He, he killed that him. other nigga yeah. behind that. He said, I ain't "Don't do with that kid. with them kids and their man." That's what the thing bro. is. Like the street, the street code is like what I happened to. I can speak on that, but I can't speak on it. What you mean? I can speak on that, but I can't speak on it because it never got, bro. It's like when it, when the kid there, it's like, bro, what can you do? 
It's like if the kid there and everything going on, it's like you can't just stop and say, I can't do this. You what you go. mean? Let let hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's you, let him make it. No, because you're going to die if you do that. Here the nigga is. He here now. We, here you know we go. You're going to die if you do that. It don't matter. All no, I'm telling no, you, listen. if you see a kid no. there, you I'm, shouldn't. If you go into a restaurant and you see there's children in there and families in there, you ain't no way in hell you supposed to be oh, yeah. in there talking about going in there to do nothing. No, yeah, you turn your ass I'm around about, and you go where you gotta go. Like a G. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 I'm finna tell you what I was in. It's like I, I I went there and it's like the kid was there. Like after that, everything was going on, the kid was there. And so I'm like, damn. The kid here now, so what do I do? That's different. You didn't see the kid. I I, I try to bag out. I try to bag out. Then shot just ran rang off. I didn't shoot first. Yeah, because he's shooting, he rang it out because he's trying to protect this kid. I understand why, but it's like now him like, damn the kid here. Like, what should I do? Yeah. So it's like it's like you want to protect him, but then again, it's like you gotta bag out and protect yourself too at the same you gotta, time. Yeah, you gotta lead so it. Like, it was hard. Man. That was hard. Nigga, that, that means you did a sloppy job in investing. No, 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 no. You did a no. sloppy job, nigga. No, you should have no. seen that before you went yeah, in that situation. No. So I, I can't, that's you, why you I can't guys are not patient, man. They just doing shit out. No, I waited. I waited I wait on that shit for like. 12 hours. We didn't incriminate the hell out of him. He going to jail right after this. Yeah, he go, no, He'll be in jail right after this episode, y'all. Oh, oh, dude, dead, so you worry about it. Oh, oh damn. damn. This, this, I didn't know this. I didn't do it. Now change. you see my calls is off the chain. I ain't doing it, though, bro. I told you he was coming. I thought this is out of mind. We're going to have nothing to do with it. It's all entertainment. Yeah, yeah. He just talking. It wasn't nothing real, y'all. That was just, that's cap. <laughs> yeah, so, like, so, so you got. I just don't see how you just you go into a situation and you do know that these guys knew Roscoe Chicken and Waffles is a family yeah, oriented place. That, Why would you go in there and do this in the midst of these people and these kids like that? You are, you worthless, and I don't think they should be giving niggas no sentence. I think they need to be doming them niggas soon as they catch. They got no more. Bro. I mean that day. Don't even niggas, wait. They don't give a fuck. They, they ain't thinking. That what they call themselves demons. They don't care. They just say fuck it. We gonna get where we can. That's why you gotta stay strapped like, all the time. They, they, you gotta stay on point nigga. all gotta, the time. It's sad. You gotta yeah. walk around here like this, bro. Yeah, all the time. Then they pass any laws. You carry your gun anywhere, so everybody got gun. They don't know. Not where. in Cali though. Oh, they don't got any. No, oh, okay. I just was up there. Texas, oh, no. Texas got it. I know they do. Yeah, you gotta sneak and do it up there. Yo, okay, and that shit is crazy. So man. nigga, gotta sneak and do it up there, mm -hmm. nigga. Hell, this because you want to be here. Yeah, especially if you ain't from there. You you need to get your you get, get there. You better know somebody. I have some security, yeah. bro. I had mine in Cali the first time with them. Say, man, why is you telling me all this on this camera like this, nigga? You <laughs> I crazy, I ain't, man. I ain't flout you though. <laughs> I ain't flout you. <laughs> so I ain't with you. Know what I'm this. dealing with, bro. Man, we families. We can't be happy, <laughs> bro. Now nah, listen, I'm gonna take myself in any given way. I don't care what. That's what yeah, I don't care. Really, yeah. Always, always. Yeah. I'm gonna have to, bro. No, I, I already know that. Listen, I can't go to Cali and call nobody right now. Who am I calling? Say, bring me a strap. Yeah, I don't know nobody, so I'm gonna take my own. I'm you gonna take my own risk. You don't have to do that. You got to talk to me. I ain't gotta do it no more. No more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, real I'm talk. Talk. It's a different like now. Fool. Now I ain't got to. But no, I, don't, I ain't know nobody that time. We went from the call, bro. I'm like, no. Okay. Well, we're going we gonna to move on to the next subject, man. You just mentioned Zero a while ago. And Zero, your favorite uh, top three was uh, he got pretty much. Uh, exposed as getting beat up in a in a in a brawl, yeah. he was the only one there on his slot. And, and some people are alluding to the fact that it was family, and some people are alluding to the fact that uh, you know it been going on a long time. Wasn't no you know behind the scene, and just how do you feel about your number two rapper when you when you see something like this happen to him in the midst of everybody on social media? Yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie, it looked it looked real fucked up. They jade him like that. No, I, fuck, I done fucked the trade before. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with him. No, he good people. But I was like, damn, that's supposed to be your family, your blood. Y'all should have got that one-on-one -on -one somewhere. Yeah. At least line it up. Yeah. Like we do in the pen. Instead yeah. of jumping, you get him. You get down here, we go to the next one. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Instead mm -hmm. of putting it in the open like that. So, you, you know, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't really, like, you ain't I, ain't really like, I ain't rock how he jumped up like that, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it's a hard thing because. Then y'all older men, man. Man, that's the part right there. I'm like, nigga, I'm out there with the strap. 
Yeah, I'm finna just try to, I'm trying to air this whole yeah, hour. You old niggas. Oh, niggas put me fighting like that, man. Come on. Y'all go, y'all do that at the house. You know, mm-hmm. it's funny because, you know, old niggas back in the day, shout out to, uh, well, they did now. All my uncles and all of them. I remember my uncle got shot in the head, uh, my old uncle, AJ Luster, man. I never forget it. Uh, he used to tell me this story all the time about how he got shot, you know, by a guy. But it, it was a different type of way that they did, they done yeah, things yeah. back in the day. You know what I mean? But you, they Get shot, COVID. bro, by an older man. That's all I'm yeah, telling yeah. you. An old nigga is usually the one that's gonna kill you because yeah. he ain't got time to do all that fighting. Time, I'm being know. real. Yeah. He ain't doing that no more. Mm-hmm. So I, that's the part what's throwing me off. Like, you niggas really out here think y'all yeah. finna have the win that y'all used to have when y'all was uh-huh. 30, got all 25, on, nigga. You out here on. trying to fight in the midst yeah. of all these folks and you a celebrity and you over 40? Yeah, that, that shit ain't lying. It's just for yeah. our people, it was a bad look on the whole. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Yeah, for real. That's the way I looked at it, I'm, if I must input. I, I feel they should go and give bro his ones. Let him get his ones. I don't think he need no ones. I think yeah. they need to try to figure out a way to make a resolution. Do that. Or talk about it. I but I don't, I, I mean, huh? They can't fight you, I think. I don't think they need to be fighting because hell, they old. Niggas don't have to rub their bones when they mm-hmm. get home, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, this nigga, be hurting you now. know, you swing at a nigga yeah. now. Yeah. Bitch, yeah. we was 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You swing at a nigga. Oh, no, now that shit hurt. Feeling you bones. <laughs> now you sit down wrong and your damn yeah, leg yeah. hurting. Real. So I don't get how they just was out there like we just for the beat. Like is they in the gym like that every day? They must be. They gotta, gotta be. be. They went. They went. They gotta went be. crazy. They went stupid on this shit. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> This See, is in front of everybody. You on boss talk, man. You know, this is where it go down to yeah, be honest. And, and 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 I love both of the brothers. Let me yeah, just say that. Because I, do I done yeah. met I met Trey. I never met I never met Zero. But I love both of the brothers because yeah, of Texas. Time. The Texas connection puts it in a state where I care about them. I didn't like what I seen at all. Yeah, I just I just really feel like that's your that's your family. You shouldn't let no other niggas jump your family. I'm saying, what you gonna go back and tell y'all people? I was hearing them niggas from out, like, they from Atlanta, the niggas that jumped in. See, that, that's even worse than like that. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm like, what? Some yeah. niggas like, yeah, them niggas, two of them niggas from Atlanta. I'm like, ah, oh, and his brother didn't two to Atlanta. I'm like, ah, oh, nah, yeah, they but they, You know what I'm saying? They gonna, they, gonna, they gonna handle it some type of way, man. You know, I hope. Hope they do, man. Uh, I hope not, it's over with. I do too. I hope it's over with. I hope they can figure it out behind the scene. Yeah, Nobody need to see that. We love. We need Trey. another AVN out. Yeah. yeah, hell yeah, and we love my boy Dougie D, who been on Boss Talk one on one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All them boys, man, they real. That the gorilla, gorilla, whatever mob. Them gorilla was, mob. Yeah, yeah, them was my. I used to jam all this. Shit. Did you? Did you yeah, jam? Yeah, it? I love all this shit. Man, uh, what else did I have for you? It was one more thing. What else happened? Oh, academics. Academics call niggas that older than you. Cause he'd let you make it. The dusty rappers. He, he talked about LL Cool J. Did you you never seen the way you looking? You didn't see this. Oh, I ain't yeah, sure. yeah. Academics call all them dusty, and LL dusty. came out and said, "Nigga, uh, now I got this paper over here." Yeah, for Pretty real. Pretty much like, "Nigga, what dust were?" Yeah, how you gonna you knock know? a nigga for trying to get some money? But I lo- but academics had a point though. When I looked at it, and y'all probably didn't see this, but I'm telling you, academics say, say y'all didn't help me get this twenty mil, so y'all ain't gonna tell me what to do. Shit. Meaning y'all That's didn't help. Opinion, and though. then he say y'all didn't help nobody. You old niggas got them old deals and them three sixty deals, and y'all got y'all money, and y'all left niggas broke and didn't even show niggas a code of how to deal with that stuff back. But how they know how to deal with? It? They got fucked. Man, yeah. Russell Simmons didn't get. Russell Simmons yeah, was the one with didn't. The, so you said Russell? Russell, you trying Russell to say like, said something too. So you trying to say Russell didn't help nobody? He's saying that basically they didn't give people the knowledge about the music business after they got after they went through all the stuff they was going through. When you look back, yeah. he say he on his podcast every day giving niggas game, these young niggas on independency, yeah. on how to make money. But he's saying that these guys did not help these people that was around, like the ones, like the Nelly said he got hurt in a deal. Like the, it's a bunch of them. Go look at all them niggas deal. But the all niggas, them niggas, niggas, deal was niggas know how to read, right? Yeah, they do. So what? Just read, read, read and learn. Yeah, study. But how many people got screwed, Spain? But let's oh, yeah, a lot baby. of people do. But you know, know a lot of people got screwed. They be so excited to sign and getting that little money. They don't it wasn't read. a lot because they went in these deals it's, it's like y'all did. Though. How much did that it, that uh, that uh, music video cost that y'all did? You think that budgeted for over there? How much that cost? That whole had to be expensive how over at Big T. What? That whole yeah, big that, well, back then that was a yeah, big yeah, number. Yeah, yeah, it was about twenty twenty thousand back then. Yeah, they were putting. That's a lot of. And it wasn't even all that. Mm-hmm. 
See what I mean? So th that was a lot of stuff going on mm -hmm. with these record labels. They knew they were shafting you. They bring you in on a budget and put you in the hole and then manipulate you. And they kept doing yeah. it time after time, years after years, and nobody educated anybody on what was going on. Yeah, because I ain't going to lie back. You said back right when I was word. younger, nigga don't really understand them contracts when you're that young, <laughs> coming from the street. So I'm saying read now because I done been locked up and I read a lot. <laughs> Let me read that back. So I understand why a lot of niggas get fucked. Cause you, that contract be a whole bunch of shit on that bitch. You be like, nah, God, fuck it. This overwhelming. Yeah, but uh, I understand what, academic, what you're saying about that. Yeah, them niggas should tell all these youngsters coming up how what to expect and what to do and how to build on that and how yeah. to get better and how not to get fucked. They been about, like them head yeah. about that. They mad yeah. at it. All the old rappers mad as hell at him about that. Yeah. Yeah. They said that nigga need to be quiet. He said he ain't going to shut up because... Y'all didn't help me get this 20 mil. And he said the BT Awards was fake and all that. He said because if y'all not recognizing the Say Cheeses and the academics and all them for the culture, y'all lying because they the one controlling the culture right now with a lot of the stuff that they're doing. Yeah, yeah, and I see that now. Blockers are controlling. You see what I'm saying? So saying like, yeah, when you I go on BT that. Awards and or you they see them. Us a category. And he, yeah, and he said, but they did. They awarded it to Puff Daddy's uh, new show with that girl on it. Right. And she ain't even been around long. They did. Yeah, yeah. They did award. They awarded her. So, yeah, blockers do control the culture, too. Ain't no, but you they, see what I said? They awarded. They awarded where? Puff Daddy's uh, uh, the Re show. Yeah. Oh, they re oh, okay. No, it's a girl. Oh, that that one. Please, you that's who they awarded according to what I'm hearing. That's she who they started. and yeah. she just that's they didn't politics. That's, politics, right? and that's money. You know that's they didn't yeah. recognize the Vlads. None of these other folks have been doing this. So what For I'm years. saying, what I'm saying is, it's crazy to me how they would do that. But I see why academics got a chip on his shoulder. Oh, okay. I kind of understand why he because the recognition, like show the love. I don't know if he wants the recognition. Nah, he he the just he get the recognition already. He yeah. just saying that I'm gonna tell y'all niggas how I'm gonna do it over here, and y'all can listen, and y'all can love it, or y'all can turn it off. Yeah. Okay. So these niggas different out here. I'm just telling you that because niggas breaking through different little old hey, he situations. Got sponsor, he got sponsorship. Yeah, he got certain people that help him. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So, yeah, I know that the game yeah really different. Yeah, used to, when I was out, the DJs used to control everything. Not no more. Not no more. Like the bloggers, whatever y'all put out, is what the world's gonna put out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are, we controlling the narrative. And y'all can control the music too. Yeah, and yeah. Especially just promoting your your people. Yeah, that's one thing. I, I be I, I be wanting to see more. Like, let's push our music. Where All right, Don Chief. Here go Chief. We got Don Chief in the oh, Don yeah, Chief. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what he came in here and said. Like, <laughs> well, they yeah. do need to do that though. I seen that. Like, if we put more music out there, we'll blow up. Everybody, wherever y'all from, faster. Well, yeah. Chief looking for, okay, uh, that, let's, let's talk about Chief for a second before you get off here. Yeah. Chief came on here and he was like that. He was thinking that the blog is supposed to do this or that. And and because him and him and Sean had some issues or whatnot because yeah. they was on the show. They both said different things at different times. But at the end of the day, he here we go. You know, Rain said he was old. Old rapper, he need to own, have his label by now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just telling you. So, do you think people should be evolving to a label status or to a status where they should be the overseers of these young kids coming into the game? Yeah, you can, but everybody got their own lane. Like, another nigga can't tell another nigga what he want to do. That's his life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Rain be saying some shit, but some of that shit, I be like, fuck what you talking about, man. That shit be some bullshit. <laughs> Like the other day, I heard you say "fuck the city of Dallas." That really hurt the shit that. out of me. Now, somebody texted me and told me like, that. I didn't hear it. Like goddamn, that. But Chief, what, what, what did he say for? So what? What? I need to go look that up. Yeah, cause he was on the Chris Cole when him and Chief was on there. Chief was saying some real shit. Like Dallas need to come and stick together. Let's work. You know, a lot of shit going on in Dallas. And he was like, "Fuck the city of Dallas." Y'all killed the best rapper. Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, See, you can't get mad at him yeah, now. Yeah. Now, now, no, no, but listen, I gotta come to I, his I, rescue. I, 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 I no, 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 no. Listen, but y'all understand. I love Mo three. Mo was right repping right the hood, too. but but you know what I'm saying Mo repped my block, and kept in nation, got in nation. Why I love you gotta, you gotta Mo. We gotta understand, bro was thugging. But I understand that too. But here's 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 my my uh, older nigga catch on it. Yeah. The nigga going through depression yeah, and everything. That nigga ain't never hit healing time. That nigga speaking from a place of hurt. Yeah, I feel you hurt. So yeah, when the nigga, hurt. It, but, but not like this nigga. This nigga was with this nigga every day, man. I got plenty of niggas that have died in Dallas. I, I know that, day. but this is his. He on here with a with a situation trying to talk about something. You bring the city together and, and killed the man that was trying to bring it. Yeah, but you, yeah, but, but bro, in, but bro, bro in a position, you got that power to help us come together. Right. But you started saying, fuck this, fuck Dallas, fuck that. That's because he never healed from it yet. 
Okay, let's come together and talk about it. Let's that, get all the G's right sit there, together. With. So niggas like you, niggas like Sean, like Chiefer, like me, Lucci. Let's go to every hood. Let's come together and let's speak on this. Yeah. Let's Instead vent this say, shit. Instead but, of saying, fuck us. Now, wait a minute. Now, now, you now, made a lot of money in Dallas. But at the end of the day, here's, a, here's, here's, a, here's another one of my little old, uh, uh, what, what they call it when you're trying to be the, uh, what they got. I, I, yeah, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get this other side to be seen. We'll just say it like that. All right. Okay. It ain't too late. No, it's not. And that's one thing I'm trying to do. We're alive. So at the end of the day, when you see rain in these situations, I, I feel like a lot of times we'll get mad or or, or, or figure like, because it'll piss you off when a nigga, yeah. that's almost like a shock statement. Yeah, exactly. But then at the end of the day, then you look at who he really is and what he's been through and what all the stuff that he's pushed in Dallas all this time and speaking from a hurt place, but then did a lot of shows, a lot of his whole his whole brand rests on Dallas. Yeah, it did. But at the end of the day, I think the nigga talk from a hurt place. I yeah, think yeah. the nigga hurt. Yeah, I look at a nigga as hurt. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I feel too like you were hurt, but I think he should have said it like, because me, I was just so Dallas. I, got this I already my know that. I, like, I just dug hard in that pen for Dallas. Like, plug it, unplug your TVs when you're talking about the Cowboys. I, like, I, you know I love what? Dallas. Dallas has done a lot of bad and it done a whole lot of good. You know what I'm saying? And we got to see, we got to fix it. Yeah. We don't need to, like, we don't need to throw it on the side. Let's get it together and get it right. Because there's a lot of power out here. Listen, you powerful. When I think about you, though, you, Rain, all you niggas is the foundation. Yeah. Y'all the history. Yeah, your boy Rue back there. All y'all niggas is the history. Y'all all the foundation. All uh, Chief, mm -hmm. Luigi, Mr. Pookie, all yeah. of this stuff, man. Uh, uh, Gator, uh, all of it. Bolet, all of yeah. the different. This is our history. So at the end <laughs> of the day, I just feel like I'm a. I don't care how ugly the picture may look. I'm gonna stay in the midst of it. I'm gonna keep trying to press the press the button to say, hey, this Dallas, yeah. you know, East Texas. Hey, that's East Texas. I'm yeah. from East Texas. Yeah, hey, I know that. Yeah, you. yeah, but but I've been out here. How old are you? I'm I'm gonna be 35. Yeah, see, I was, you was four when I got out here. Oh, okay. I'm an old nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you old, man. You still, you still here. <laughs> but at the end of that, I'm just saying, and I was in the, it, before you was born, I was out here. My auntie stayed off Santa and, and Beckley. Been yeah. there. Still there right now since the 50s. But at any rate, <laughs> at, any rate uh, at, at any rate, when you look at Dallas and, and Houston, um, you know, this is who we are. San Antonio, mm -hmm. Austin. Yeah. This Texas. Yeah, That's why right. I love UGK. Yeah, me too. Because they rep Texas. Texas. They had a Portland. street down there in Port Arthur called Texas Street. Mm -hmm. And I felt like that street, when they would represent that street, it made it look like they represented the whole bubble, which they did do the yeah. South. But Texas is something else. We all Texas. You penitentiary niggas, y'all messed it up. Y'all down there fighting over the damn games. <laughs> you true. niggas are down there into it. You from Dallas? No, nah, I'm from Houston. No, nah, I'm from. Yeah, and that, a lot of that's that. a lot. The right. football team, real, Dallas huh? Cowboys, Houston Texans, all this stuff keeping us separated if yeah. we really don't pay attention. So yeah. we got to do better by representing everything together. Yeah. And that's why I always push. I'm going to push it like that. Now, I know you being a Louisiana cat. We love y'all, man. And that's what's one thing we used to, when we came out with Dougie, that's what I used to do. Me, me, Rue, all of us used to do with the boogie. We used to sit here and push it like, let's our sound, let's stick together, let's run with it. And we was doing it for a minute. Dallas was running the clubs for years. Yeah. There's like niggas are like, nah, fuck it. Niggas just to hate on that shit. You can't go to New Orleans, Louisiana, and talk down on no uh, bounce music. Mm -mm. They rapping, Big Frida, whoever. That's they right. rap. Can't go to Atlanta and talk down on they snap music. Oh, that's and real. Cali, when they was doing their stuff back then. That's real. And that's one thing I, I didn't like about Dallas at the time. We was tripping on something that was ours. Like, nobody had this. I'm saying Triple D. You know, Neon there start claiming that Triple D, throwing it up. Everybody started rocking with it. We started finding ourselves. You know what I'm saying? When that 06, 07, all that era came. And that's one thing I used to love back then. It's like when the years started going by, like everybody wanted to get too gangster. And it's like everybody sounded like people from other states now. You can't even tell who is who now. I hear I heard some Dallas niggas, I'm thinking they from Shot Town or something. I'm saying, listen, we trying to give let's get back to us being us. Yeah, Dallas. I like that. So when they hear us, they're like, oh yeah, that nigga from Dallas. Oh, that's a Dallas nigga. Even this is dance music, singing, I just want that sound again. You know what I'm saying? And that one thing we were pushing, I was just push it so hard when it came to that boogie shit. Like for real, like I we used to be in clubs Niggas used to talk down. I used to fight and everything. And I used to step on that. And then when I got locked up, it's like, 
they took the Dallas way and these Cali niggas came and said, this Dougie. I was just about to say that. Say like, like, how did you feel about that when you, because it was like you you let everybody down by getting locked up. Yeah, I ain't got because, I, 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 I'm being I real apologize because, for that. But I, you see I what I'm saying? Like because you, you, you was holding it at a standard. Yeah, I did. And when you got locked up, these boys, they wasn't even that strong looking. They didn't even look like hard or nothing. They just took the damn. These on these yeah, niggas. They, 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 I like who are these niggas got the song now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So no, I'm saying you were locked up. You seen the niggas say, "Teach me how to dug." Yeah, like, teach that, me how to dug. Everybody love me, like yeah, you know. Ooh, that's it for I ain't from like, Dallas, but <laughs> I detail boogie. That's how I first seen. Them, I'm like, you okay. like damn. Yeah, I first seen. I'm like, okay, they showing love. But then, then like time went by. Y'all not ain't really acknowledging. They didn't even acknowledge it. You ain't say my name one time. No. You ain't come to the boogie cane and be like, bro, we finna do a boogie song, rapping for y'all. You ain't come holler at me about nothing. Didn't one of them die? Yeah, they, yeah, I heard about that. I'm trying to interview, because I went to interview them. I was trying to, I wanted that story before you came home. Yeah, I heard one I of them I would have shown up been on you then. Yeah. But I was trying to, I went up there to interview, try, I'm going to try to interview the one that's still living. Yeah, I would like to sit there and talk to them, man. I might, I'll link y'all up, yeah, because I'm, I I be, like I be, I be, I'm trying to figure it out. You know me, I'm yeah, crazy but, as hell. You know, I'm saying it was all cool, but it, it's just like they took the Dallas away from that boogie and just dug it, dug it, dug it. And like, dug it just a move. Yeah. Rack Daddy is just a move. Yeah. Frankie just a move. Yeah. Ricky Bobby a move. Stanky Leg is a move. All together is Dallas Boogie. And that's what I used to push. Make sure it say Dallas. Because when y'all see us, y'all know where we coming from. Yeah, but you you did that. Yeah. Little Spain, but everybody that... Evidently, your homeboys wasn't doing that too good. Because yeah, when you left... <laughs> Lil' Will now, I ain't, I don't know. The team was gone. We, we, was the, we, was the, we was the nucleus. You got him with the vision. You got me with the internet and the promotion. I'm out there. And I'm then you got marketing. Lil' Will with the rap. Yeah, he was the, he was the rapper. But when, then when the squad gone, it's, it's not the same no and more. Then, yeah, and then there was some shysty stuff going on during the time. So do you think you could, I mean, and I know you, this is a far reach. Yeah. This hood guy. That what his name? Hood Ball? Hood, baby. Hoodie baby. Hoodie, baby. Uh, would you ever forgive that dude? For, nah, hell no. Nah. I'm just going to stay away. You, I, got, you can't hold that resentment. You know it'll make you sick, don't you? I don't, I don't even worry about it. It's, 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 I, I can't be around you anyway. Yeah. I can't sit here and talk. You can go to jail. That's yeah. what violating my parole. Yeah. So just stay away from me. Stay away from you. You know what I'm saying? That, that's over with. Like, I yeah, because at the end of I ain't got no beef. I don't need no problems. I ain't but if the nigga came that. forward and say he, he apologized for what happened and he, he hate that all that ever happened, he changed, mm -hmm. you wouldn't let the nigga change. Yeah, that's on him. I ain't finna respond to it because I don't want you to use that against me thinking I try to threaten you or anything. You that's know? smart. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking the fuck that shit. That's smart. Because you don't understand, bro was, used to have the DA on in his contacts. Really? Yeah. Like, they use that against me in punishment stage. If I, they find you guilty and you go to punishment stage. We had seen him doing All-Star Week. I went to jail, like, right after All-Star Weekend in 2010. He came to my hood to a Dallas Don't Dance We Boogie premiere. You came to my hood, 75, and I think that Raw, the studio movie grill. Hey, you know I'm there, and I got my hood with me. You coming there like you just big boss. Or like, you just, ain't think my niggas ain't here to do nothing to you? They know you the toad on me? So my niggas did what they did. So when I go to jail, we go to trial, he, you, he, I mean, the next day he called the DA and said I held him down had niggas beating him up. I'm 180 pounds. You 300 something. How the fuck I'm going to hold you down? He couldn't handle it. So they used that against us in punishment states when we found guilty. That's why they gave us 15 years. They felt like we was going to retaliate or some shit. How was that? So when you and Ruth split up, of course. How long did he do on I know I'll ask him, but how long did y'all both got out at the same time? Nah, he did 10. I did 12. Okay, you was in there selling envelopes, all kind of stuff. <laughs> Spreading, they told you to go to sleep. Yeah, I was tripping down there. You were there shooting dice with them old tissue dice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was tripping, my <laughs> yeah. But, but it, it all, you know, it's different reasons. I was in Huntsville for five years, and like, they parole reasons suck. Yeah. I got kicked out the unit, which another reason made parole right then and there. Do they let y'all out? They 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 bring they got they bring you to Hutchins now. Oh no! Nah, now they let you out wherever unit you on. Really? But they I had to go to Hutchins. Cause I had a detainer. Okay. So I just got a free ride to Dallas. That's real. Yeah. So I was in uh, Beaumont. When you coming back on Boss Talk, man? You family now? Whenever. We gonna kick it. Yeah. See, yeah, we, we kicking it over here yeah, too. Whenever. I it's gonna, epic man. interview. Uh, epic you interview. What spot you work at? So I can pull up. Rudy's Chicken. Oh, I ain't right yeah. right, I'm cool. from Dallas. We he eat gonna Rudy's. pull up? 
Yeah, for real. Yeah, how did you feel when they when they made that song and said that? Oh, that was the shit. That was a love of that song. That Tom Tom. Oh yeah, yeah, Tom Tom man. You know Shout out Tom Tom man. Shout you out Tom Zilla. Tom Zilla. Did no, you say ever... Triple D man, legend man. No, hey, say man, need... listen, I'm all about peace, love, and happiness. Hey, man. We need to do a I'm all about love, bringing it just... together, man. Yeah, we need to come up there and do a skit. Yeah, yeah real talk. We be doing skits. Yeah, my sister be up there too, man. You know, we all everybody up be up there. Some niggas came up this side of the video the other day. I'm like, what y'all doing, man? Y'all y'all talk to me yet? They didn't know. Hey man, y'all gotta start checking in. You wanna shoot the hey, video? Hey, check it. Let y'all know right now, man. Y'all, y'all just coming up there, holler at Big Spain. You know what I'm saying? Get this shit together. My granddaddy was like, "What the fuck is all this shit going on?" You know what I'm saying? Holler at me. How, how, know how can people get a hold of you? Man, Forrest Lane God, anything. Man. On Instagram? Yeah, Forrest Lane God, Instagram, Snapchat, Chris Spain on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? You type in Big Spain. You know everything. Boys Lane guy gonna pop up. Man, we love you, brother. Yeah, love y'all too, brother. Man, thank you man. for coming on Boss Appreciate Talk. Did you get anything? Time. Did we forget anything? Boss Talk one on one. What man. a boss is talk. Uh, yeah, nah, uh, how, how long are you and uh, Ruben uh, hanging together? Six, together? Six, 2006. Yeah, y'all know that. Because every time you say yeah. something, y'all, his name always pop up. That's my brother. Yeah, yeah, y'all. That's another brother I add, gotta add on to the siblings. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's real. the real. That's real. That's real brother. Yeah, yeah. man. Then we, we here. I know one dang thing. He love you. Y'all, y'all come at me real crazy when y'all for y'all nah, like nah, what, nah. y'all niggas oh, came no. at me Let's crazy. Nah, 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 we y'all keep real. Right. Nah, nah, we didn't keep real on that. Hey, we didn't come at you crazy. No, my son right there now. You see my son? Hey, look at that. Y'all, y'all niggas don't know how to communicate. Y'all niggas don't know all y'all. Including them. All three of you niggas. Like we was trying. All three of y'all. Real talk. You act like no. You act like we were trying to text. You nah, your homeboy the one was cool at the at the at the football game. Yeah, he's playing. Like, you gotta get Spain on now. I'm like, what up, bro? I tried to holler at that nigga. That nigga, that trip. But now, for real, hey, but no, bro. Bro, you should have called me. You should have been like, look, bro. I I know. I don't feel like you that big. I don't think I should charge you. Why you just come to me like that? I didn't say nothing. No, I'm just saying you should have just come to me like that. I don't say it like that. You made it feel like no, but listen, you made it feel like like. Nah, fuck that nigga. I ain't. Nah, it wasn't like that. That's how I felt. We didn't even say nothing about no money. That's how I felt, bro. No, but when I talked to who was it? Well, it was you. No, no, behind you. That little nigga. That's who got all this going. (laughs) Cause he was the one that called. He called me. He the PR guy, or whatever he is. But the nigga, but he, he loved, yeah, whatever. The nigga should have been. He <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think it was him. I yeah, think, well, I think you misunderstood him. I said, why would you call me with this Trey? I wanted to search. Yeah, and you see why I can't deal with this stuff. What? Yeah. He can't deal with. I can't deal with. Can't deal with. Him with I can't deal with the type of stuff because <laughs> I'm gonna mind. This is gonna, hit, man, gonna piss me out quick. Like I can't deal with him. Deal. He's saying no. He's saying yeah. yes. Hell no. Leave me out of there. I'm not a middleman for the type of stuff. Nah, man, we giving you a shirt, man. We, yeah, man, man, you might you you found the shit award while we were doing the interview. That's I, thought, like, I thought it was. We I, could have. We just in there tripping, but you gotta understand, man. It's a good time over here. I think a lot of people they don't know what the hell going on over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, hey, man. Some people don't even know we're in Dallas. Yeah, oh, <laughs> they be yeah. like, we don't know where them niggas at, them. Yeah, but they be flying in. They love the show, yeah, man. We, we hear them. Yeah, that's it, man. Hey, can I ask you a question? It's a good platform, bro. Thank you. Did you see him trip earlier? Cause I ain't got my shirt on. Huh? You did him trip earlier because I ain't got my shirt on. Yeah, yeah, you gotta keep the brand on there, man. You trip. But you got, you got, you got to get. Okay, see, see, she already know. We are, we. uh, My thing is to get you over here. Get over here first, man. Don't listen to Rue. Rue gonna have your ass way over there somewhere at another interview. (laughs) And then this cameraman, he, where he at? He gonna record it. You know what I'm saying? We doing the same thing you doing. Yeah, I love it too. I love the content. I told you that already. The content is more. If I don't tell y'all, get nothing else from me on this interview. Please, please put the pitch out there, guys. Yeah, content and tags. That's how we're going to do Content over create. Yes, sir. Meaning yeah, it don't have to be pretty. It just need to be up. Yeah, for just real. put it up. Yeah. Please. Gotcha. Please. That's the most important thing, man. Hey, man. Say, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. Yeah, what a boss's talk. Big Spain, man. Rule Bang.